A 2010 article in New Yorker magazine called Are You Being Served detailed the fledgling dynamic between customers and businesses. One quote from that article underpins what seems to be the general perception now. The contemporary customer is mad as hell, fed up with inept service, indifferent employees, and customer service departments that are harder to negotiate than Kafka's castle. That flies in the face of what every major retailer and restaurant champions. We've selected a few. Target. Our mission is to make Target your preferred shopping destination in all channels by delivering outstanding value, continuous innovation, and exceptional guest experiences. Walmart is committed to providing you superior customer service and a pleasant shopping experience. McDonald's, a company seeking new ways to fulfill our brand promise of quality, service, cleanliness, and value. Olive Garden, the end result is a dining experience that's casual yet stylish, creating an atmosphere of openness, spontaneity, and generosity. But generosity is something a lot of consumers say is severely lacking at many businesses. That New Yorker article cites a survey of more than 300 big companies, 80% of which describe themselves as offering superior customer service. Consumers, however, contend it's more like 8%. How are the employees treated? And, and then that can translate into how the customers get treated as well. I have people skills. I am good at dealing with people. Can't you understand that? What the hell is wrong with you people? And it might not look good for the future of customer service in southwest Louisiana. Professor of Management at McNeese State, Dr. Mitchell Adrian, says while research doesn't exist on the correlation between population surges and the resulting relationship between businesses and customers, as an area grows like ours is projected to, there are more less skilled workers filling entry-level positions, positions that frequently pit customers face-to-face -face with those workers. Since again, the entry-level positions are very often the service-oriented positions, there's an expectation that service quality would decline as the population increases. McNeese State Marketing Professor Dr. Jeff Totten says the advancement of social media has only compounded the ability to criticize companies over poor experiences. We'll delve into that more as our series continues Wednesday. At your service, Eric Tiger, KPLC 7 News.